हेलो गेट एस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट 15 ऑफ गेट मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स सीरीज क्वेश्चन नंबर 30 कंसीडर ए वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल दिस इज गिवन ओवर ए वॉल्यूम वी वेयर आर इज अंडर रूट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज और आर करेक्ट नाउ वी हैव इंटीग्रल i is equal to ओवर वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू डेल स्क्वायर ऑफ 1 बाय r into db सो दैट इज डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ gradient of 1 by r into d but gradient of 1 by r is minus of r cap by r square into d and divergence of this r cap upon r square it can be written as this minus sign will come out it is written as 4 pi delta cube into r square into d Now this is equal to minus four pi. If r is equal to zero, is inside volume V. This is equal to zero. If r is equal to zero, is in outside volume V. And this is equal to zero if r is not equal to zero. So. ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शन ए रेस टू माइनस टू जेड हैज सो दिस कैन बी एक्सपांडेड इट इज ए रेस टू एक्स सीरीज सो ए रेस टू माइनस ऑफ टू अपॉन जेड माइनस वन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन माइनस टू अपॉन जेड माइनस वन प्लस वन अपॉन टू फैक्टोरियल then we have 2 upon z minus 1 square minus term and so on so let us find out the residue and residue we can find out this function will have uh, value if z minus 1, z is equal to 1 if z is equal to 1 then this will be 0 and this will be e raised to minus infinity so let us find out residue at z is equal to 1 so that is simply coefficient of 1 upon z minus 1 and it is 2 minus 2 so residue is minus 2 so residue equal to minus 2 at z is equal to 1 so option c is correct and c all other z minus 1 1 terms are present so z minus 1 z minus 2 square z minus 1 cube and all these terms are present so it is an essential singularity so option b is correct next question the equation of motion for a forced harmonic oscillator is we have x double dot plus omega square x is equal to f cos omega t so its characteristic equation is v square omega square is equal to 0 so d square is equal to omega square so d is equal to plus or minus i omega so x of t is equal to c1 e raised to i omega plus c2 e raised to minus i omega now let us find out particular integral that is 1 upon d square plus omega square operated on f cos cos omega t so here we can replace d square by this function function has value omega so we can replace d square by minus of omega square so then this will be minus of omega square plus omega square which is equal to 0 so we have we cannot use this directly we have to take derivative again so this particular integral will be this t will come out here we do here we do f of d square is equal to f of a square and if it is zero then this is the formula then take derivative 2 by d and operate it on f of cos omega t so this is equal to t by 2 and 1 upon d operated on it that means we are taking integration of it so integration will be f of so integration of cos omega t is sin omega t upon omega so this is the particular integral so it is proportional to t into sin omega t so here option a is correct 
or you can use x of t is equal to t sin omega t and take derivatives and substitute in this equation take double derivative and substitute in this equation and then that equation will be uh, satisfied on both sides so that way also you can check it next question consider two matrices which of the following statements is or are true so we have p and q here option a is p and q are have same eigenvalues so let us find out eigenvalues so p is equal to 1 2 so 1 minus lambda 2 0 1 minus lambda and this is equal to 0 that means 1 minus lambda square is equal to 0 that means lambda is equal to 1 1 and this is identity matrix whose lambda values are 1 1 only so that means p and q they do have same eigenvalues so option a is correct option b p q commute commute with each other so let us find out p q so p is 1 2 0 1 into we are multiplying it by identity matrix so it will be p so that is 1 2 0 1 and qp it is identity matrix into 1 2 0 1 so the again it will be 1 2 0 1 so yes they commute with each other so option b is correct then p and q have different sets of linearly independent eigenvectors so let us find out eigenvectors of p so we have p that is 1 2 0 1 and it is operated on x1 x2 and lambda value is 1 into x1 x2 so this means x1 plus 2 x2 is equal to x1 and x2 is equal to x2 so x1 will cancel out so that means x2 is equal to 0 so this eigenvector will be 1 0 so it has only one eigenvector and the matrix is 2 cross 2 matrix and it has only one eigenvector so that means p is not diagonalizable so p cannot be diagonalized and this is for p and for q we will have two eigenvectors 1 0 and 1 1 or any x y value so x uh, q into x is equal to lambda value 1 into x so we have 1 0 0 1 operated on x 1 y 1 is equal to x 1 y 1 so from here we will get x 1 is equal to x 1 and y 1 is equal to y 1 so for all values of x and y this is possible so p and q have different set of linearly independent eigenvectors but uh, p is not diagonalizable next question consider a vector field f bar is given the closed path is given line integral f dot dl denotes the line integral of f along the closed path which of the following options is correct it is msq so let us check first is first let us check uh, this divergence and curl thing so we have this f bar is equal to 2xz plus 3y square y cap plus 4y z square z cap so del dot of f so this will be dou y of this so that will be 6y plus this will be dou by dou z of this so that is 8yz now this in this plane z is equal to 0 for this particular plane it is in xy plane so z is equal to 0 so if we put z is equal to 0 then y this will be 6y and which is not equal to 0 so that means del dot of f is not equal to 0 then f bar is non-conservative so let's check that let's check curl of f so this will be x cap y cap z cap dou by dou x dou by dou y and dou by dou z first is 0 only then we have y cap 2xz plus 3y square and 4y z square so this will be x cap dou by dou y of this so that is x cap into we have 4z square dou by dou z of this that is minus of 2x 
minus y cap there is no x term cell term so this will be 0 plus z cap into this will be x so that is 2z and 0 so again we will put z is equal to 0 so this term will be 0 so this will be minus of 2x x cap and z is so this is what we are getting for del cross of f and this is not equal to 0 that means f bar is not conservative so option b is correct if it is not conservative that means del cross of f is not equal to 0 and if it is not equal to 0 then we cannot write it as a gradient so this option is also wrong now we have to check this integral so integral of f bar dot dl bar is equal to integral of del cross of f which is minus 2x so this here we will use stokes theorem so surface integral over del cross of f da we will use this so this is integral over we have minus of 2x x cap and surface integral over this so this will be dx dy z cap now x cap dot z cap is 0 so this will be 0 so this line integral will be equal to 0 so here we are getting option a and b are correct next question a alpha b alpha a and b are taking values from 1 to n are contravariant and covariant vectors respectively by convention, any repeated indices are summed over. Which of the following expansion is or are tensors? Now, for the first option, this is outer product of contravariant and covariant fixer. So, this will be simply, so this uh, co uh, coefficients will be, indices will be like this. So, T alpha beta is A alpha B beta. So this is rank 2 matrix. So it is sorry rank 2 mint, uh, mixed tensor. So this is a tensor. So option A is correct. It is a tensor. Then in case of option B, here we are considering A alpha B beta upon A alpha B alpha. So this is a contraction and it gives us scalar so this will be equal to a alpha b beta so this this will be a alpha b beta upon some scalar now scalar is also rank rank zero matrix so this will also be t alpha beta so it will be a tensor so option b is also correct now in option c we have a alpha upon b beta now tensors they do not transform correctly under division except if they are scalars then it is fine but otherwise tens tensors do not transform correctly under division so this is not possible it will not give you tensor and also covariant and contravariant tensors they cannot be added so option d is wrong so here option a and b are correct next question the fourier transform and its inverse transform are respectively defined as so these functions are given consider two functions f and g another function f star g so it is convolution of f and g it is given which of the following relations are true so here this equation is given now let us change y to x minus y so then it will be this function will be 1 upon root 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity here at place of y you will put x minus y and g x minus y so minus of x minus of y so this will be g of y and f of x minus y dy so this is equal to just we have changed uh, variables here so this is equal to g star f of x so that means f star g of x is equal to g star f of x. So that means option A is correct. Now second is uh, we are taking Fourier transform. So this is convolution. So next is Fourier transform 
of convolution is always commutative. So that means option B is also correct. Since f star g is equal to g star f, that means f star g, its Fourier transform will be same. Now, if Fourier transform is same, then this can also be written as f tilde g tilde. So, option D is correct, option C is not correct. So here A, B, D are correct. So these are all the questions from gate 2024 paper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Keep learning.